you think is going to happen to Serato? I okay. I made the video, uh, I think two weeks ago, mm-hmm. about is Serato becoming complacent? Yes, and they are. <laughs> I think yes. <laughs> right. A lot of hardcore Serato DJs are like, no, you don't know anything what you're talking about. <laughs> but if you don't use other DJ software, you're not going to have a frame of reference for what's right. happening right now. Exactly. And mm-hmm. and I, I gave the analogy. This is the same thing that happened to Tractor. Tractor is like, we're doing our own thing. We're having our own course. And then Serato showed up and was doing all the stuff that they're not doing. And they were late to the game to catch up. And they lost all of their footing. And here comes Rekordbox. And Rekordbox has unlimited budget. <laughs> and all of the gear in the world. All of it. <laughs> you do not toy yeah. with a company like that. You have to be on your A game all the time. You cannot play games and be like, well, we'll get to it later. Serato's the last company to support mm-hmm. Big Sur. That's wow. a no no. Wow. You can't have wow. that. Wow. That's that's terrible. Virtual DJ even it. supports Big Sur. The like, tractor supports Big Sur. Like, what are we doing here? <laughs> Tractor supports Big Sur before Serato. And Tractor's at the Bible. What, what, what's happening here? This is you know, terrible on their part. You said, uh, you know, when you have a company like um, Pioneer who owns manufacturing, distribution, mm-hmm. software, hardware, it's tough yeah. to compete with a company like that. And now, yeah. because, you know, you didn't read the tea leaves, Serato, now you have to figure out how to adapt to the latest and greatest um, operating system. And you also have to sort of create a firmware update for all the Serato controllers as well. So you have a lot of work to do. You have a ton of work. Yeah. And <laughs> yeah. I keep telling I keep telling Serato users that Rekordbox is way better than you think it is. It's way better. And don't be comfortable with your position in the world. It is Rekordbox is night and day from when they started a couple years ago. There's there's no you can't tell that this this software is so new. It, you don't have that impression when you use it. It feels polished, mm-hmm. is responsive, and they're adding in features that all these other companies are slowly just noticing right now. And mm-hmm. I'm like, you guys are com- you guys are sitting here on the top. And I, I made the I made the bold prediction. I was like, this year, 2021, Rekordbox is going to surpass Serato, and there's no looking back from there. It, they're it. pretty close now, and though, right? They're, only, it's they're only a few neck. points. Yeah, mm-hmm. they're, they're two percentage points away from each other. Serato well, is at twenty three percent, and Rekordbox is twenty one percent. That's not you, good, man. That's not good. You know what? I'm not even going to front, Keo. About a month mm-hmm. ago, no lie, mm-hmm. I just I was just like, wow, Rekordbox is far more superior <laughs> than Serato. <laughs> a month ago. I keep telling people it is way better than you think A month ago, I figured that out. I was like, and I just, I kept playing with it because even with their flagship controller, the mm-hmm. XDJ XZ, Pioneer, right? Yeah. Um, Pioneer has been updating the firmware on the controller and also Rekordbox. Mm-hmm. So the integration and the tightness of better. both, yeah, it's gotten better where, mm-hmm. you know, the now the controller is updated, but Serato is not. And so when you play with Serato on that controller, it's just a little gimpy, right? And so that's why I started using Rekordbox more. And then I started realizing I'm like, wow, you know, Rekordbox mm-hmm. is um dude, this may be like the the gold standard. Oh, absolutely. And mm-hmm. and you you, know, you remember the controller that came out, I think it was last year, the DJ Flex. The yeah. FL X6 mm-hmm. or whatever. Yeah. The second that I noticed that the the record box integration was light years better than the Serato integration, mm-hmm. I was like, "Oh, this is the problem. <laughs> this is not going to get better." Yeah. If you're going to buy Pioneer gear, it's just not going to run as good here it's on out. Be for record box. <laughs> it's just like they they've decided they took the veil off and they're like, "We don't care anymore. We're going to spend 100 percent of our time on the record box version." And maybe 60% or 70% on the Serato version. And if it works, it works. Yeah. And it makes <laughs> and me think like, that. Screw it out. Yeah. It makes me think that, um, again, their flagship controller is a Rekordbox D, uh, Serato controller. It has mm-hmm. Rekordbox and Serato, you know, label on the controller, right? Yeah, yeah. But 
Record box, I mean, Serato just hasn't updated. And again, like I said, I am super impressed with the updates, the software, the mm-hmm. integration, the tightness of um, the searchability. Of the, the, par- the parametric search on Record box is amazing yeah. when you just look at it from a coder's standpoint. It's just like, well, you can do a search for, you know, um, key and, um, you know, genre and, you know, artists and, you know, just like stringing all these together, these queries together. The mood and the style of music. You get the feel (laughs) of it on top of the genre, the the record label. Like you can search so many different ways to Mm -hmm. just narrow your thing down. And so people with big libraries, this is a godsend for them. And they, because they focused on search and their, their library organization first, and then they fix the the I would say the DVS part of it. Yeah. That came second. Yeah. The library is the bedrock for Recordbox DJ. And they made sure that's top notch, second to none.